What up everybody, my name is Lupi, and today we're going to be doing a reaction to something quite different. Um, a lot of people might be like, oh yo, aren't you copying some other reactors? No, no, listen, listen, listen. I just wanted to know what was up, alright? Because all of a sudden, a lot of people that I see, alright, a lot of reactors I see are reacting to a lot of Dutch stuff. Namely two that I'm very cool with. Um... So, you know, I just want to hop on the train, you know, I just want to see what's up with the Netherlands that, you know, everybody likes so much. I mean, I'm not, you know, trying to demean anybody. I'm just saying, like, you know, like, what's up with the Netherlands, you know? Um, so the best way that I could, you know, start my journey by understanding the Netherlands would be the survival guide to the Dutch. And we have the Netherlands flag right here, so this is a perfect way to introduce us. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. I'm just curious, all right? Um, I don't know if these reactors will want their credit or if they don't want me to say their names or something like that, but if they do, then I'll, I'll put links in the description. Um, I don't know if that's how it works. All right, but I'm just trying to hop on the train and see like what's up, like what's up with the Netherlands. All right, um, with, if you guys are new to the channel, please be sure to like and subscribe. Engage with this video in any kind of way possible. A link to this video will be in the description down below. Let's go. Oh, survival guide to the Dutch. All right. Although the Dutch are a proud and patriotic people, they don't often show it. There is. Uh, they don't often show their patriotism. Um, okay. Is, however, one big exception. The World Cup. The World Cup. Has the Netherlands ever won a World Cup? I need to. I need to search this. Netherlands World Cup wins. Oh. Maybe next year. <laughs> During this tournament, the country is at a- God, you're loud. <laughs> you too. <laughs> okay. A fever pitch and a wash in a sea of orange. To understand the Dutch obsession with the performance of their national team, you've got to go back in history. 40 years ago, their revolutionary style of play got them to two finals. First in and against Germany in 74, and then in and against Argentina in 78. Against all odds, they lost both. Four years ago, the even with Cruyff on the team, really, Johan Cruyff never got. Oh man! Defeat against Spain in their third World Cup final just added to the trauma, and bringing up in conversation Aryan uh, Aryan Robin Robin's missed chance yep. to decide the match will still make even the slightest of Dutch football fans cringe. Survival tip. Do not mention Robin's big miss. How did he miss that? Wait, no, I never knew about that one. I know it was in 2010, but I never knew that Robin had like some sort of like thing in his career that no one should talk about. That's funny. Sure, they're known for their attractive play and have scored some beautiful goals, like this one. It's better come. It's better come. Against our it's better come. Yo, this is perfect. I'm allowed to like nerd out about my football um, knowledge. Let's go. Are they going to mention Van Persie's goal against Spain in 2014? Because that was good revenge. Argentina in 98. Or this one. Against Uruguay in 2010. That is a lovely goal. The Dutch national team is like the Anna Kornikova of football. Beautiful to watch. But that's about it. In fact, they even won the European Cup in 1988, which turned the country into a frenzy for weeks. But still, the most important prize of all is missing. This year, the team is lacking the star power they've enjoyed in years past. Rest assured, this will not keep the Dutch from celebrating loudly and proudly. So if you don't like football or the color orange, you'd better leave the country. Also, if you're German. Damn, okay. And that would be the credits. 
No, but um, I didn't know about uh, I didn't know that about Robin. And man, I wonder how the World Cup's gonna be next year when Robin and Van Persie are not playing. I'm pretty sure Robin had his last World Cup that year, 2018, the one that we won. Cause I'm French, guys, um, so <laughs> I was very happy that year. Um, nah, but like, dang, I didn't know that about Robin, and they didn't mention Cruyff a single bit. What about Cruyff? What about Van Persie? Van Persie, that, that diving goal against Spain in 2014? I don't know. Like, that was a good reason to get crazy at that time during the World Cup. I imagine as soon as a lot of people saw that Van Persie diving goal, that, you know, they all went fucking crazy, but... Um, <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching I don't know if this is a good way to start um, you know going into the whole Dutch journey um, again you know, I'm just really curious about what's going on with Dutch people that reactors seem to enjoy so much so hi <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video the original link in the description down below will be um, like you know, the, the original link to the video will be in the description down below, along with a few links to channels that I've seen, um, a few, um, you know, a few videos being done about the Netherlands, you know, for, so, you know, like, I'm not, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just taking inspiration, all right? I'm just taking inspiration, you know, from the people I know, um, you know, not trying to steal anything, you know, so, I'm, I'm giving... You know, I'm giving them engagement as well by, you know, letting you guys know. It's it, it's like a little uh, refer, eh, it's like a little referral ticket, you know. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Bless up and stay hype, and I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye. Someone might ask, how the heck did he turn a two-minute video into a seven-minute video? I have no clue. <laughs>